Hi, welcome to 3 inches hand embroidery. I'm Eric. In this video, I'll show you the basic practice of thread painting by embroidering an egg. Please click the subscribe button and bell for more interesting hand embroidered videos from us. Basically, the only technique that we will use here is backstitch. The outcome is similar to the long shot stitch, but it's slightly different from the traditional long shot stitch. I think we could call it a regular long shot stitch. When you're embroidering, please do not do like a picture that shows on a top. All the stitches are even in a row, that is certain stitch. You should do it like a picture on the bottom, the joint of the stitches are next to the middle of every other stitch. It's actually pretty similar to long shot stitch, but you're just not doing it in the even and tidy way. Before we start, there are two important things that you have to know about the thread painting. First, the direction of the stitches. And second is the color shading. The direction of the stitches is dependent upon the shape and structure of the object that you embroider. We create the direction of the stitches by adjusting the angle of the stitches when we are embroidering. This is the stitching directions of the egg that we will embroider later. The color shading means one color moving gradually to another. In this tutorial, I will use six colors for the shading, from light to dark. When one color moves to another, make sure the colors are not just staying on its own border. When two colors mate, you have to make the stitches of both colors stagger to create a blending effect so it will be more natural. Here we go. We start with the lightest shade from the top, the first shade. Using two strands and do it with backstitch. We will use two strands for the following colors. The second shade. Do not forget the directions of the stitches when you're embroidering. If you're afraid that you can't remember it, you can trace it on the A. The mark that you trace will be covered by the stitches, so it doesn't matter. You can use any type of pen to trace it.
the third shade. Alright, so make sure the stitches are staggered at the border.
The Fourth Shade. Okay, look at the pictures. I think you could tell which one is more vivid, right? Obviously the second one. So after you're done filling up the fourth shade, you have to continue to make some stitches on top of the third shade to make it look like the egg in the second picture. The fifth shade.
Now we start fixing. We use one strand of the flows from 5th shade and make some stitches on top of the 4th shade. We could enhance the blending effect and make the shading more vividly by doing this. And repeat the same thing on the third shade. One strand of flows from the fourth shade and making stitches on top of the third shade. Try to pay attention to the angle of the stitches when you're stitching. I can't find the footage of the six shades, I think I lost it. But it's very easy, you just have to stitch a line on the bottom with a single strand of flows number 611 and that's it. If you learned something from this tutorial or you enjoyed the video, I would be appreciated if you hit the like button. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.